Hey everybody, welcome back to what is likely going to be the finale of Sticks Shards of Darkness. Okay, uh, got a comment. Wow, this is kind of impressive. Yeah, I know, I'll, there's like way too many deaths, way too fast. That part of the game is kind of a bitch. But as you can see, we got through it. I was drawing a golem, should be interesting. Yeah, interesting is not the word I would choose. It's kind of a pain in the ass because you'll never be able to actually save. It goes by automatically checkpointing. You know, automatically saving itself. So, yeah, you gotta live long enough to get to these fucking checkpoints. It's a pain in the ass. Well, let's get to it. Unfortunately, it does not actually save when you first get into the level. It saves here. So you have another loading screen. So hopefully I can survive long enough to get to a checkpoint and not have to, you know, sit through that reload again. No, it's not a long loading screen, but still. Oh yeah, that last line. Do the dwarfs already have started their offense? They kind of fucked that one up a little bit. Ah, whatever. I'm not an English teacher. What the fuck do I care? And so Jarak the shapeshifter bites the dust. Or should I say, the gravel. Well, looks like it's just you and me left dancing, big boy. Hey, don't take this personally. But fuck your ugly. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude, wasn't it? No, really. <laughs> okay. Alright, uh... Across this chasm by myself. Fuck. How about this? <coughs> there and take the controller. That's honestly the thing that really frustrated me about this one was until you get to that first fucking checkpoint, you wind up having to reload again. I don't know why they didn't put a autosave right there at the beginning of this level, but it's really rather maddening. It's a bitch, because this guy, the way he throws the rocks is kind of bullshit, but <coughs> this section is really probably one of the harder ones to get past. Once you're through it, then it's not too terrible. Of course, it's irritating because you have to go through this crap over and over and over again until you get it right. Well, looks like it's just you and me left dancing, big boy. Hey, don't take this personally. But fuck your ugly. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, oh, shit. Damn it. <sighs> Jumped a little too early. I'll come out there and take the controller. And you. Ah, uh, fuck me running. <coughs> this is not the easiest boss fight ever, so, you know. It's not really much of a boss fight. You're just dodging the motherfucker until you get into position to finish him off. But. It's incredibly frustrating because you have to keep going, sitting through this fucking loading screen until you get it right and get, you know, get to you know, a save point. Okay. And so Jarak the shapeshifter bites the dust. Or should I say, the gravel. Well... Looks like it's just you and me left dancing, big boy. Hey, don't take this personally. But fuck your ugly. Get up. Yep. Uh, fuck. You stop God damn me, motherfucker. And I won't tell anyone what you did. Uh. Yeah, it, it's early in the morning too, so I'm like not completely ready for this fucking shit, let me tell you. 
There's like no warm up, man. It just throws your ass right into the middle of this and you just pray for the best. Okay, yeah, whatever. Just and skip so it. So Jarak the shapeshifter bites the dust. Or should I say the gravel? Well, looks like it's just you and me left dancing, big boy. Hey, don't take this personally. But fuck your ugly. <laughs> Sorry, that was rude, wasn't it? No, really. <laughs> I thought he missed again. Oh my god. Okay, get in there. Drop you little bastard. Okay, I need to I need to lure uh him to hit that with a fucking rock. Can't get across this chasm by myself, but this statue should make a good bridge. Maybe I can get this moron of a golem to help me to shove it over. Come on. What the fuck? I'm behind cover. The controller with your feet's not gonna give you an achievement, right? <laughs> okay, now I'm, I'm calling bullshit on that one. That spot's at least I believe that spot's at least temporary cover. Um, uh, I honestly that didn't mu much like this fucking part as it was anyway. But I'm starting to hate this fucking part, especially trying to do this on on video. I mean, I know how to fucking do it. I've gotten past it, but fuck, I'm just absolutely hitting a fucking wall right now. I believe that spot might count. It might might not count as cover. I'm not sure. The shapeshifter bites the dust, or should I say, the gravel? Well, looks like it's just you and me left dancing, big boy. Hey, don't take this personally, but fuck, you're ugly. <laughs> Sorry. That was rude, wasn't it? No, really. <laughs> God damn motherfucking son of a bitch. All right, I'm going to be Let's back make... in, a, in a minute. I'm going to get past that fucking and spot, and then we'll continue. Because I I I, I'm not going to sit here and butt my fucking head against the damn wall 14 fucking times. This is bullshit. Once I get past that spot, then I will go ahead and uh, resume recording. Okay, this is why we have clones. Okay, uh... Okay. going oh thank Christ okay save point save point yes thank you wow that feels good <laughs> thank fucking Christ At least this jumping section is not horrible. It... <coughs> okay, well, we need to go up here. Another save. Yes, thank you. Now, where are we? Yeah, I really don't give a shit. Son of a bitch, the dwarfs didn't cut corners on materials. That golem is a real war machine. Well, that I got injured, but that's okay. For an opportunity to pass. Okay, uh, now where are we going?
Okay. I guess we're jumping up. Alright. If I don't want him to give me the big high five, I better stay out of his line of sight. Turn your head, pal. There's one of those little collectibles, but I just do not give a shit about any of these collectible things. Come on, save point. You know you wanna. You wanna give me a save point. Come on. Be good, give me a save. Save, damn you, thank you. His legs don't get roasted off. Okay, so where's the clip? The clip is right here. Alright, uh. Aw, oh, fuck me running. I thought that was a spot to jump to. I hear there's an Easter egg that gives you the address of the level designer who put that freaking hole there! If only. Alright, so I didn't get too badly fucked up on that one. <clears throat> In the old days of the Super Nintendo and the Genesis, boss fights would be like multiple stages and you'd have fucking wound up having to redo the entire fucking thing. You know, after dying like that. Those are some days I'm kind of glad are fucking gone, let me tell you. I mean, yeah, there are some classic type games that are made just like that. Okay, Sticks, where are you going? Where do I have to go? Oh, up there, okay. Okay, uh... This is one long fucking boss fight. And another save point. Yeah, like I said, that spot right there is fucking maddening. The rest of them are not so bad. The rest of the level's not so bad. Well, okay, except for, you know, insta-golem death, but hey, you know, shit happens. <coughs> At least it, the save points are relatively okay-ish. Turn your head. Good little retard. No, you didn't see nothing. Nothing at all. You saw nothing. No smacking goblins. This is hardly the moment, but it'd be a shame to leave it here. I can't reach it from here. Maybe I'll have better luck on the other side of the bridge. At least what's left of it. 
No, I don't give a fuck about the forks, dude. Neither should you. Okay, uh... Okay, yeah, this is where the jumping shit gets a little bit tricky. Get tagged, it looks like I might have got tagged a little. Alright, shoot at me, asshole. There you go. Damn it, sticks them. Fuck! Okay, this part's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but it's not terrible. A shard of pure quartz. This is hardly the moment, but it'd be a shame to leave it here. I can't reach it from here. Maybe I'll have better luck on the other side of the bridge. At least what's left of it. I do not give a shit about that quartz. I mean, yeah, it's needed for leveling up, but I can always fucking farm shit. Where am I? There we are. Come on. One last push and I got this pile of rocks. Ah, no. I got a little too eager. And I paid for it. Thank Christ we don't have to do that jumping puzzle shit again. One last push and I got this pile of rocks. Oh fuck, I should be dead. Oh, shit. that underestimate me. My ship! Fucking last time you're ever gonna bug me. <clears throat> so the assumption is Styx snuffs him. And that's it for Styx sh Shards of Darkness. As you can see, Styx has successfully managed to uh, get rid of Lissarel. Killed a shitload of elves because the dwarves came in with a uh, golem and fucking leveled their city just about. And even picked off a few dwarves here and there. So hey, you know, 
all in all, a good week's work for a goblin. I mean, he didn't exactly get what he wanted. He found out the truth behind Amber, that Amber is actually the crushed remains of his people. But, you know, he wanted to be basically, like, rich. He wanted a shitload of Amber, you know, uh, as much Amber as he could possibly want. And, uh, turns out, well, yeah, you're drinking the blood of your people, pal. Well, let's see what's up next. Um, <coughs> I'm still debating... I'm trying to get Star Trek Elite Force working. Um, it loads up, it plays the initial movies, and then the last movie never clears. Uh, the movie, not movie, the uh, uh, main menu, you can move a mouse around on it, and you can hear the little beeps of the buttons being you know, crossed by the pointer, but nothing actually, you can't do anything with it. You can't see what's really going on with it, so it's essentially unplayable like that. I think I might wind up having to pick up the GOG version of it or something, because uh, it's just not working as it stands. Um, I've got another game, which is kind of more of a Halloween game, admittedly, but it's not really scary, but it's just really interesting, called The Sinking City. Uh, that's It's not a super long game, even though it feels like it kind of could be. That's a potential. I've still got uh, Heavy Metal Fact 2, or however you put that. Uh, that's another eventual uh, game I will be getting through, but I don't know. I'm not quite, uh, I haven't quite decided exactly what I really want to do. As we can see, some of the concept art to, to the various uh, entities in the game. Yeah, I'm letting the credits run out until we get to. Uh, the actual end game itself is uh I don't recognize any of the uh, voice actors. Oh. Yeah, you could tell English was not their first language. There's enough mistakes in there to, you know, pretty much confirm that. But that's okay, because, I mean, let's be fucking real here. I've seen a lot of AAA games that didn't have as much heart as this one. You know what I mean? Like, the all the Call of Duty clones, or actually just Call of Duty itself. They've stamped out so many fucking Call of Duties, it's just ridiculous. <coughs> you got like a huge ass game it's basically you know it's the same fucking game over and over and over again like come on okay sticks is a plague tale praise the sun okay At least the credits aren't super fucking long and annoying like others. Okay, well, here we go. Mission completed, 320 SP. Swiftness time, 50. Shadow, 50. Mercy, enemy skill, 50. So, a total of uh, 1,010 points. And back to our hideout. Congratulations on finishing the game. Now you can try to unlock all the insignias and complete all the secondary objectives. Replay missions with a better completion rating to unlock every skill. You can also try to aim for the highest score possible in every mission. Yeah, so that's the thing. If you want to farm for achievements on the uh, on, like Steam and whatnot, on the uh, platforms that allow achievements, it's possible. But we're back in our hideout. So you can go back to your missions if you want and go back through and pick up stuff you didn't get before or farm for materials. Go through and kill the shit out of everybody. You can change your daggers and your, you know, equipment out.
It makes a muffled kill impossible. Yeah. Prisoner outfit. Akinash outfit. So yeah, you can basically dress sticks up and whatever you want. And of course, obviously the crafting table and the skills table. So we'll, just because, we'll go ahead and... Uh... Oh, I have no quartzes. Okay, well, that's alright though. I can always go back through and farm quartzes. Well, anyway guys, this has been Sticks, Shards of Darkness. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and we'll be back next time with something else. I'm, I'll figure out what the hell to do by tomorrow. So with that guys, I will see you then.